I play Dark Roads. Wait, wait. Okay. Shut up, ready? Yes. Alright. My name's Mike Agna. I play so Dark Roads short. at the Rochester Regional a couple of weeks back now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I top eight it. I got like fourth or fifth or something. Uh. I don't know. Oh, yeah, here's a deck. How'd you do at the local today? Local? I, I won. It, it was a different version, but I won. So. Was there any... But I, uh, t no, I just let you do uh, we'll, we'll do this deck and I'll tell you what's different. Yeah. The three main dark roads. Snow, brown, drapa. Three of each. <laughs> the new MVP card. Transar Train. Card is absolutely nuts. With two beige and a singing. And, uh, this is for me to keep uh, to ask you a question. It's a reminder for me to ask you a question. Okay. So yeah, the, it's just this card has just been a complete all star. Uh, gets back anybody that's been gone by a crow or a gates. Um, this card outlet too. It's absolutely fantastic. I only run fourteen monsters. I guess I'll explain that later. So for the spells, one dealings, one card destruction. One Reborn, one Foolish. Um, yeah, this card was absolutely insane all day. Uh, it's searchable by Snow, which is big. Um, this card just wins the game. I swear to God, I duality into this, and uh, they lose. But you don't special summon. Like, yeah. you, you can't well, I just do it next turn. Oh, okay. Literally, I do alley into it, set up with the with some of my other draw cards. Right. And then all of a sudden I have four dark roads on my hand and you just lose it. So this is everything else is self this gets graph up. That's about it. So that, those are those. Um, draw cards. Three dualities. Three drag downs. Um, yeah, this card works so insane with Mind Crush. You just you never lose if you get Mind Crush drag down. It's just nuts. And uh, three gates. Uh, this removes guys for you for your Trans Archfiend. Lets you draw. If I could run ten of these, I would run tw ten of these. It's just absolutely nuts. Um, and then a couple other spells, just your generic Two, kill stuff. So yeah, just all purpose removal. Uh, traps, we got Tarantula. This used to be a dust shoot for the last one, right? so now it's just something else that looks like their hand. Uh, two Mind Crush, Smog, Three Reckless, and two Skill Drain. Skill Drain is just shuts everything down right now, so you need to run this. So yeah, that's the main deck. And uh, for the side, uh, extra spell and trap destruction for mysticals. Crows, because you can't have veilers, they just don't work. And this kills everything in the graveyard. Cyber dragons, because you beat every machine deck. Um, two decrees for any for rabbit now. Everybody's hiding macro. This stops macro. Uh, three Rikos, because he just. He kills everything that hurts the deck, honestly. So we just side him in almost every time. And then two rivalries. So, yeah, that's the side. Uh, the extra deck, I didn't use once at the region. Like, it just, there was no point to it. I think maybe I brought a Utopia once, but I never needed it, ever. So, yeah, that's the deck. Alright, for this one, I see a lot of dog that run three of him. Why not, why, why, why not only two? Because I only run 14 monsters. Like, if you look at the monsters again, like, there's so few of them. Like, there's no reason to have a card that does nothing, you know? Like, um, you'll get to him with duality and everything. Um, honestly, the only problem this deck ran into was it wouldn't draw monsters enough. So, like, Sangin could become him, in a sense, but his ability to get a Dark Roll monster is pretty important, and a low monster count. Uh -huh. So if you if I up the count by like two, he would be a trans Right. Like, um, I'm debating that, like, just with all the draw cards you get there eventually, like, I think about half the deck either searches or draws, so you will get to all your cards eventually, as long as they don't kill you on turn one, which is... Easily preventable the deck. So when you say this deck is an autopilot deck in some way, or a skill based deck? A little bit. It's a little bit autopilot, but like a lot of people misplay their drag downs and don't know what to take out of their hand. Uh huh. Um, like and they, then they don't know what to search with snow. 
Like, a lot of people are searching for gates when they have a gates out. Like, there's no reason to give up advantage like that. You can just search for a Dark World Dealings and then the next turn use that gate, and then if they destroy it, you have more gates in your deck. It's just the little things like that that sometimes lose you the game. Like, um, yeah, I search, the card I searched the most that weekend, I think, was Dark World Dealings. Just because, like, it gives you access to discarding graph, uh, discarding beige. Um, I, OT, I was able to OTK once with card destruction, because I don't have all the special summoning abilities that the other Dark World decks do. But, like, I card destruction these four right here. Just one. Because it killed everything they had, and I just special summoned everybody, so. I just kind of died after that. Um, is there any combo that you usually make? When you open, uh, like, open God, open a very good hand, this I guess? This deck mm -hmm. is very good at getting the Mind Crush drag down combo. Uh -huh. Because of all the dualities and stuff. Like, Wait. you have dualities, you have dealings, you have card destruction. Like, you have breakfast reads. So you're able to just rip their hand apart so they can't do anything. And then just one Grapho usually wins after that. Like, when they don't have a hand of anything that they can do. Like, they have, like, Thunder Kings on the main deck, Baylors and Maxis. Uh -huh. And they just don't do anything. Like, you just kill them all. It just doesn't matter. So this is the, uh, the, the, the before March uh, this, yeah, deck? Yeah, this, this is the before March deck. So do you have an updated version of this deck? Yeah. Um, it's basically silvers and golds. Like, you just add all those guys in. So... Basically, just the, the one. It's the same one as the one that uh, the top at the YCS, right? Yeah, it, it's almost card for card the same deck. Um, I keep on flip flacking back and forth between these the solemn warnings and the skill drains in that deck. Uh huh. But it, it's basically the same thing. Like, um, I like this version better. It's just without trap dust shoot, it's definitely not as good. Like the ability to open trap dust shoot with this deck was absolutely insane. Um, yeah. Uh, this card also in game one. Is always like huge. Like if you draw two of them, you shouldn't lose the game because you you just have so much card advantage on your opponent, and then you just kill them. It is, it's so, it's so hard to come back from a, or it's so hard for them to come back from a plus five that you have, and it's just, especially in game one because they don't have their macros or shadow prisonings any of it. So, so do you have any uh, like an updated version uh, like later on in the future? Not the one that with the uh, two silver and two gold, but the one that you build from your own unique style for you? What I want to do with this version is add two monsters in by taking out a couple cards. Um, I'm not sure yet. But it, it would definitely be like a silver and a gold in there, uh, and then it would still run the skill drains. It would have all the recklesses in, and it would still it would somehow um, be able to do the, almost the same thing if you do the silver and gold. Like because when you draw one of them, it just lets you get graphic back and forth. It's the same as with this guy. Like only reason I run him over silver and gold is because he's normal summon, and that's huge for this deck. Like it just doesn't have many normal summons. So yeah, like it, it just it. I'm trying to turn it so that card destruction wins the game automatically. Like, it never wins it automatically in this deck. You have a couple more turns, but in every other version of Dark Worlds that I've seen, um, card destruction wins the game when you play it. So I want to get this version to that point and have it still be a control deck. Alright. So, yeah. And I know right now we have the uh, YCS Long Beach, right? Yeah. How do you think Dog will do at that event? Um, I think it's, like, it's hard because... I, I think that Dark World players aren't siding correctly right now. So like they don't have they don't have answers to macro, which I have five dedicated answers in mind. Like So it just what separate separate between your deck and other people's decks is yeah. you have like answer to a like, lot I don't side deck to beat their main deck, I side deck to beat their side deck. Because my main deck beats theirs. So like these guys beat macros and shadow and prisonings. Um, this comes in like, against everything too. So like they they have nothing that they can do that's gonna stop their main deck once these come in. So and then everything else is just to fix a matchup that's not as favorable as I like it. Like against windups and that's basically it. Like windups is the only match that I don't feel favorable in. So is that is that your worst mat uh, matchup? Is against windup or uh, was it? I don't want to say it's my worst. It's just the most annoying. Like because they can loop you. Right. You know, right. They, if they loop you, you. You got. You have to have a graph of discard from your hand, otherwise you're gonna lose. Right. So. So what deck is your worst matchup? I know for Gatekeeper, it's, it's um, Dark World. 
which like a kill bar today. Like honestly, I just don't want to play Dino Rabbit that much. You don't want to. You want I to. I don't want to play it's, against. Yeah, I don't want to play against it because it's just a frustrating matchup. You know, like it, it, it's definitely winnable all uh -huh. the time. It's just with this version of it, you need to get to your skill drain. You need to get to your graph up quick, and if you don't do that, they will just beat you. So, like, key cards are basically important ones. You gotta know what the key cards in the deck are for each matchup. And in that one, it's your boss monster and skill drain. And that's the fewest ones. Like, yeah. So. Do you think uh, this deck also had, uh, has, uh, like, a good matchup against Six Samurai? Because I know that on the Six Samurai, they bring up Beast and Bucky on, which kind of stop you uh, Be Beast hurts um, a lot, right? Be like, again, skill drain. Right, right. It takes good. But they still have Sheehan and Barkeon on the field. Sheehan and Barkeon hurt a lot. Like, uh -huh. um, there's ways around it, though. Like, like what? Um, <laughs> card destruction, Dark World Dealings, Gates, anything that discards a card. That's a spell. Right, right. And then Transfer Train is an answer to all of that. So, yeah, anything that can discard a card while they're on the board, fantastic card. Right. So, yeah. so uh, any... Uh, like what deck do you think that will uh, win this uh, weekend? YCS? Any uh, YCS? Yes. It's gonna be Dino Rabbit. Dino Rabbit the, now, like no, not a like hero no, or no. no? These these hero decks, they're okay. They'll probably top a couple of them. But this Dino Rabbit decks are just too consistent, and someone's just gonna be way too consistent at doing what they do. So. Yeah, like yeah. Any any last word yeah, or like any comment on uh, Shao or anything, whatever? Dark Worlds are just gonna be awesome. Yeah.